this is a little bit about our reality living on the road we truly don't plan much we know for sure we want to head somewhere that it's warmer there's sun we spent the last week inside the van not doing much because well it rained pretty much every single day Nothing. come on jacob good boy it rained pretty much every single day and it's now time to finally be able to open the doors enjoy some sunshine but before heading to somewhere warmer we need to make a couple stuffs. Something else about living in a van is that you take a turn and then you hear and what does that mean? Your drawers open and broke but the other good thing is that you have some tools so you can kind of fix it <sighs> that's not better going anywhere. yeah thanks oscar for getting this for us that's very nice of you save our lives right now yeah i think i'm just gonna keep this little fella out show us what you got we got the America the Beautiful National Parks Pass. So this gets our vehicle into every national park, historic monument, national landmark for this one simple $80 fee. Friends, we were driving through Illinois, which of course we know it's practically never ending <laughs> and we decided that you know we always drive through Illinois but we never like explore much at least me I'm, I don't know about Chase so we decided to look some cool places and things to do here in Illinois and we're gonna check them tomorrow we are going to stop here at the rest stop probably have some dinner it's kind of chilly and it's been the night here. It's very quiet. I like this. So one of our nightly routines is to put up our insulating covers. These things work great in really in all climates, uh, hot or cold. They're a vital part of keeping our van warm right now. And they're totally blackout, which is super awesome, but it's also kind of scary because we've been known to sleep past 10 o'clock uh, when, when they're on, so. Sorry for Jacob, he's drinking a lot of water. Wow. No, I hope it tastes better than it looks. My, mine, mine didn't uh, melt as much. I just have a question. Hmm? Are you ready to watch an episode? We're watching a show on Netflix and we're hooked. And the cool thing is we're always connected to the internet and we have a hot and unlimited ATT hotspot that allows us to watch our shows. So that's what we're gonna do while we eat. Good night. Good night, beautiful doggy. Good night, little maniac. <laughs> hey, child. I'm having a moment of comfort with dad. I'm so sorry. Outside. Look at this. We may have showed you guys before, but truthfully, this is the reason we insulated the way that we did, and I just want you guys to know that it is working marvelously. It is 74 degrees inside right now and our heater is on its lowest setting it's 31 degrees outside we've got more than a 40 degree delta there which is pretty awesome oh wow it's snowing i thought we escaped the snow but uh 
apparently that was a lie. What the crap? I don't mind the snow, if you're wondering, but I also don't really enjoy the snow. We're 36 minutes away from the park, from the state park. It's time to hit the road, Chase. Are you ready to drive for the first time through some snow? Well, second time. Yesterday was the first time. Yeah, but yesterday didn't even nothing. Today, there's not much either. So, Marose's dad, Oscar, brought up a very good point, and we've said it for a really long time. I truly think that we have a rain cloud following us, and mm. just because of the temperature, that rain cloud turned into snow. But we're thinking about starting a new company. Prepare yourselves for a dad joke. Everywhere we go it rains, we're going to be Rain Services LLC. You need some water, we'll bring the rain to you. It's pretty good. Give us a call. Let's get on the road. Now that we made it to the state park, it's time to have some breakfast. And coffee. And coffee. We already started with coffee and it's so nice. Jokingly, we were looking up if people could be allergic to snow. And it says that yes. Yeah, it said that the way that allergies work, it's possible to be allergic to everything, including snow and winter conditions. And well, as soon as I went outside, my nose stuffy, and my allergies are killing me. So look at this maniac! He's hopping all over the table. Guys, look at this view. Look who made breakfast. Me. It's a me. Mario. Buen provecho. Buen provecho. Hello, the dogs. You guys have already eaten, but I did save you a little hash browns. You just don't know about it yet. Pablo, you have hash browns on your lips. Paco. That's hilarious. Are you guys ready to go on a hike? Are you guys ready? Oh my goodness. It's always a little bit of a process to get the dogs ready. But we're finally ready to go. Ah, oh, you can open it. You got it. I'm sliding in the floor. <laughs> All right. That's one thing no one ever tells you about these vans. One, the remote fob to unlock and lock it is garbage. And the, uh, the door is very, very heavy to open and close. And the snow has now turned into rain, no surprise. But uh, I think we're still gonna go ahead and do a hike. I think the hike's over this way. I see the little Patika prints. Oh, hey. Hi. What's up, Jake? Jacob! Jake! Jacob! Today we are in Matheson State Park, right near Utica, Illinois, and I don't know that we were necessarily planning on doing any state park trips yet, but we just decided that when the opportunity presented itself, we we're just gonna go ahead and, and go for it. So we really have no idea what to expect here, but we're just gonna go on a day hike. So come along with us.
I have a new appreciation for Illinois. This is one of those states that when people ask me about, I would always just blanket statement that I hate Illinois, that it's that it's just a boring flat place, but holy smokes, this, yeah, it's super pretty. This is not the Illinois that I'm familiar with. And maybe you should come check it out for that simple reason. It's a free park to visit. It's beautiful. It, it's, it's gorgeous. It's green and it's yellow and you know, fall colors everywhere and obviously not the best weather, but this is a great hike. It's well maintained. Honestly, the part that we're at right now, pretty much anyone could do it. There were some stairs to get here, but uh, it's nice. I like it. I have proof. Good. The thing about traveling full time is you start to understand that no matter what, you have no control over the weather. Well, the bad weather just follows us, but it's not always bad weather, is it? No. But I think at a certain point, like today we said, you know, if we can't escape the snow, we'll just embrace it. Yeah. And regardless of the weather, there's clothing that you can wear that makes everything pretty much the same. So if it's not sunny all the time, doesn't mean that you can't get out and enjoy things. I know. It's, it's truthfully, I was a little cold at the beginning, but now it's just perfect. Yeah, we got our we got our engines up and running, right? You, your mustache is full of snow water. Is it snow water or is it snot? I hope it's snow. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's snow water. Uh, That's well. disgusting. To be honest, we receive a lot of comments about dogs in a van or animals in a van. And it's not the easiest, I'm not gonna lie. It has ups and downs like everything. But every single time we get to take them to a new place and they get to pee in every single tree. And I see how happy they are, except for Pablo. Pablo will be happy just right now underneath a blanket. Oh no, it's not raining! Uh, you know, it's all worth it. This is perfect because there's not a lot of people around. It's pretty much just the dogs chasing me. And it's just everything I was looking for. This whole trip, I was not expecting to fall in love with this state park. And I'm excited to visit some more, but it's everything I was looking for. Let me know if you have been in Illinois or any other state park that you think we should visit. Down in the comments. I want to know. I want to visit more places. And I think the dogs and I, and I know for sure Chase does as well, we enjoy these little walks together. You guys, can you believe how dirty Jake is already? Oh my goodness, someone that I know it's going to have to get a little bath. Does that mean I have to bathe him? Yes! As a state park goes, it's it's super pretty. I have noticed along the trail though that there are some spots and parts that uh, could be managed a little bit better. The trails themselves are not marked very well, so you never really know if you're on the right path or not. Yeah. Um, but it is it's a small park. I think in total there's only like 3.2 miles worth of trails here. But I think it could be managed a little bit better for as yeah. beautiful of a place as it is. So it is true. It is true. Just a little bit of criticism and critique. But still, my impression from earlier, I'm just blown away this is Illinois. I don't think if we would have told you it was Illinois, you would have had any idea unless you'd already been here. This water might look pretty gross. What it actually is, is nature's brewed tea from all of the leaves and other types of brush that's fallen into this. The tannins and the leaves come out and steep and basically you get left with this big black pond um, that you'll see all over. It looks gross. It's probably pretty gross, but it's really not that gross because it's just like, you know where I was going with that, right? You know where I was going with that, right, too. You're such a weirdo. And a lot of people come here for the geology and the geological formations that you can see here. And really, I don't know much about geology, but what I can say is geology 
rocks. <laughs> oh my god. Get it? Geology? Rocks? Yeah. When do you have to explain a joke? It means the joke is not good, or if it was good and you explain it, that ruined the whole joke already. No, the joke wasn't ruined. Look at this, it's beautiful. And now, back to the van. Let's give a bath to this doggy. And we're ready to repeat the whole process. Look at how bad he is. Jacob, how do you feel about it? And just like that, we're back in Illinois. The Illinois that we're both very familiar <laughs> with. It was, it was a nice little break from it though. You'll see. Like an hour maybe? Yeah. Maybe like an hour and I'm starving. I feel sick. She's had a little bit too much caffeine today from the coffee and all of that. So So I, I was like, we need to stop. I need to eat. And I was going to cook something, but I didn't feel like cooking here in a gas station. So Chase noticed that there was a subway. So we got some subway. Something we don't normally do. Yeah, it doesn't sound very delicious to be honest, but eh, it's okay. Yeah, it's better than eating junk food, so. I guess, let's eat. Thank you, Bobo. You're welcome, baby. Let's get on the road. Let's go. I hope that makes you feel a little better. Thanks. 